Alrighty guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get Homebrew actually working on TNV11. Now if you're like me, who's on 3.52, um, you're not able to write to the game folder anymore. Which allows us not, we're not able to run Homebrew. But, um, Quick Razor, I can never, it's Quick Razor, I don't remember. Has released a plugin called VVHL to Game, which is probably the savior for us all. Now the first thing we need to do is download Vita FTP. So I left the link in the description. So we're going to download that and we only need one file. So, one second, let me open it up. And we're just going to grab, this is all we need, this is the recovery. Yeah, I'll show you guys again. You go into the copy the, this content to whatever, whatever. Go in there, grab the recovery, drag that. Um, we're gonna put this into our TNV save fold um file. So I, I use QMCA. I just do this usually. Go to my settings. Go to um applications. Ooh, um PS save P save data. My thing. Um TNV is zero zero zero. Grab it. Recovery. And plug. Just drag that in here. Yes, replace. In my case, I'm replacing it. Put it in there. All right. Now we're gonna move on. Go to our Vita. All right. So you're gonna um connect your Vita to your computer, and then I'm going to your content manager and transfer over the TNV11 save file. Now I'm probably gonna skip it to the part where um I already copied over the save file. Alright, so when everything's done transferring, you're gonna go to your TNV bubble. And once you're in your TNV bubble, you're gonna start up your TNV VS VSH menu. To do that, you click select while in TNV. And then you're gonna go all the way down to TNV, I mean TN recovery menu. Click OK. And then go into the run program at TNV 0000 slash recovery dot PVP. And you'll click X on that. And that should start up Vita FTP. Now Vita FTP should give you a little address at the top with FTB um, colon slash slash and we're going to need that late, later on or just right now. Let's just back to our computers. Okay, first thing I want to do is create a new folder um, on your desktop and name it SC Plugins. This makes everything much more simpler. Now we're gonna go to the the game um to VBHL VBHL plugin link. We're gonna use this one though, this specific one, because it comes with the VSH dot text file. So let me just go download that. There it is. Open it up. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do, uh, first you're gonna grab the game to VBHL um, dot PRX, grab that to the SC plugins, and grab the VSH dot text to the SC plugins. All right, and I think that's it. And then now we're gonna open up Explorer again. All right, so yeah, you're gonna open up a new file explorer. Ooh. File explorer. And then that address that um, FTP just gave you, um, be the FTP just gave you. So in this case, it's mine to be this FTP slash slash 192.168.2.11 slash. Hit that, and it should connect. So it takes some time depending on your internet connection. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, I typed in my own 2.11. Okay. Yeah, so it might take some time depending on your connection. Mine is not that fast, so it does take a few. But when it is started, where we are. Oh, do freeze. Oops. Let's give, let's give it. A, I'll skip to the part where it's once it's co co connected. All right. So once you're connected, you see a folder like this, and all you're simply doing is um grabbing that SC plugin folder you made before, and you're just copying it over. Now, once again, it will take some time depending on your internet speed. So I am going to skip to the part once it's done transferring. 
All right, so once you're done, you're going to end up with something looking like this with your SE plugins um, here. Now that that's done, you can go into your, your PSP folder, and you're going to want to create, if you don't already have one, a VBHL folder. So go ahead and click on New. For it to come up, do it, do it. Yeah, my internet, so I need to fix this after. But I'm, I'm gonna skip to the part once the folder shows up. All right, so once you have the new folder um, created, you're gonna rename it to V. HBL. Um, I made this mistake. I named it the VBHL, and that was wrong. And that's why my homebrew wasn't loading. So the VHBL. <coughs> put that through, and then from here, once um, your folder is renamed, you're gonna wanna go grab your homebrew. So I'm gonna use Cave Story as an example. I'm gonna extract it. Now there's very important steps you have to do in this part. When transferring over homebrew to the Vita. It won't allow you to transfer eboots.pbp. So you have to rename this to first thing you're gonna rename it to, you're gonna change that to the E to an F. And then you're going to change the extension, <coughs> the extension to dot capitals dot txt. Click yes. Alright. Now you can transfer case you can put the cave story or your homebrew into the V um HBL folder. Boom. All right, I'll skip to where it's done transferring in the folder. All right, so um, once your in, your homebrew is in the folder, you're gonna go to it. <coughs> you're gonna go to it. Wait, wait up. Take some time to load. You're gonna find that fboot.txt you have. You're gonna rename it. Keep the fboot part as it is because the current game to VBHL doesn't support eboots e e properly. So you're going to rename the extension back to PBP, and then, boom. And then from there, your homebrew should be seen on your Vita. Um, I'll switch to the Vita and show you how it should look. Alright, so once on the Vita, you're going to want to um, restart T T and your TNV bubble. And when you open it, you're going to want to make sure that the plugin is enabled. To do this, you click select and then go to plugin manager. <coughs> you should see if it's enabled or not. If it's not enabled, in, 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 enable it, enable it with your um, direction buttons, your sideways direction buttons, and then restart um, the team V bubble all over again. Now, if it is enabled, then you should be able to go into your your game section in the XMB, and should you should see the homebrew you just installed on onto your Vita. Now, um, when the <coughs> When this plugin is enabled, you won't be able to see your, your, your ISO, so your PSP games and stuff. So to, simple, to simply see your um, PSP games, all you're doing is just disabling it and restarting TNV, or resetting the v VS VSH. Just a side note, not all homebrew will work um, on <coughs> with this plugin, because um, a lot of, some, not a lot of homebrews, but some homebrews were made to be ran in the PSP slash game folder, but most should. Um, if you think you're doing something wrong, I suggest you try using the cave story one since it's been proven to work. If it doesn't work, then you may have been doing something wrong. Ask in the comments in the ask in the comment section. I'll definitely um answer or try to answer at least. So yeah, and if this video did help you, um please like. And if you want to see future PS Vita um um hacking slash homebrew tutorials, subscribe. I'll be making way more videos as um, hacks come out. So yeah, if you want to be on top of that, um, I'm right here. Anyways, I'll be seeing you guys later. And yeah, laters.